Welcome, everyone. I'm excited to have such amazing VIPs sitting around enjoying McDonald's here with us today to really discuss one of the key programs here at the Utah State Board of Education, which is the Statewide Online Education Program, or SOEP. And I appreciate all the, the diverse expertise that's here to really help us understand why this program is so important to the state of Utah and how it's helped each of your individual communities. So Superintendent Thornock, let's start with you. So excited to have a representative from rural Utah. So tell us a little bit more about how SOEP um, serves the students and families in Tintic. You know, I think to sum it up, it brings opportunity. Opportunity that they don't see and that you can see in the larger districts. And it's very hard for us to offer just to cover the basics of, of what is required by our state and our district as far as graduation requirements. But when you have a program like this, it means that we can bring in outside resources and have our students use our technology, which um, we're pretty robust with. It enriches their educational experience in, on their home turf. So for instance, um, we can provide a general high school education, but AP classes are, are very hard to facilitate language classes as well, um, math classes that are beyond the normal high school classes such as trigonometry, calculus, advanced placement classes. You look at science, uh, we, we offer 7th, 8th grade science, then we offer biology, earth systems, and that's all. And so to be able to offer environmental science or physics or chemistry, uh, or organic chemistry, those sorts of things you find in a catalog that we can now access, makes it so these students that have interest in those areas are not denied those just because of where they live. There's also better CTE pathways available through this program, and that affects our students greatly. 50% um, of them are going into CTE areas, mm -hmm. ranching and mechanics. We have a lot of mechanics that graduate, welders, and so those sorts of things are super important for us because that's where the majority of our students go after they're finished with their education with us. So if we can bring that to their home turf rather than having them move a couple hours away and go to school, good, that's good for us. I think it is, is a, it's a boon for our teachers as well, especially in my very smallest school, our West Desert High School campus. I have two teachers that literally teach the entire core for high school. Imagine that, junior high and high school, two teachers. And so that's a heavy lift, right? And now we can take some of that burden off of them. We may even be able to put them into electives that they want to teach and, and provide morale that way. And you know, a happy teacher is a great teacher and that translates to happy students and students that are interested in education as well. The statewide online education program assists schools regardless of enrollment size, the wealth of the surrounding community, the size of the geographic area, or the post-secondary plans of students. Superintendent, you were really one of the first innovators in kind of that SOEP space. What did you see in SOEP and why did you pursue that? Parents and students really do want it all. They want to be able to have an in-person experience, but they also want to have, you know, this experience in a blended model where they have these opportunities that really are on their time and on demand. I think that really speaks to our culture. You think about, you know, everything that's customized for us now just in, in this industrial age, we should expect the same for our kids. And w when they have other things, whether it's you know college or work or, or career or other pursuits that they, they have passions for, that this has a place for that. And so I, it just, it's just growing and growing and growing. Yeah, I mean, SOEP is almost ahead of its time in many ways. Like, you know, um, I've always heard about um, how our system in many ways historically was built to serve the blockbuster generation um, and that now our kids are the Netflix generation. Well, I, I think back as a high school principal, you know, for years and years what we offered was very fixed, right? And so as students would come in to register, you had a menu of courses 
and based on what you could teach and, and what you could offer, that was really what you were locked into. And so you think about that conversation with counselors and students now, you know, whether you're in a, an urban school like in Canyons District or you're in a rural school, those conversations are so much different because now the student is driving that conversation about what their needs are and it opens up all of these pathways and opportunities. SOEP is widely misunderstood to compete with options offered internally by school districts and charter schools. But in fact, the program is a minnow. A very small percentage of eligible students statewide choose this option. Most students prefer a traditional environment where they meet friends, attend sporting events and dances, and form lasting social relationships. Some people out there have a perception that somehow technology is replacing, you know, the teacher or their role, and really it's just the opposite. What I see is a very strong focus on relationships and, and in some ways maybe even more personalized communication because they are meeting the student where they're at in their needs and, and that, that relationship and just that sense of community, I think with our online learners, is, it's probably something that's really underappreciated but is so important to this work going forward. Students that really experience that, they do really have that sense of community and feeling valued and like, hey, my experience is meant for me. Um, and, and it's their choice and so they're motivated. It also serves very ambitious students. There's always a small population of students that kind of want to forego that high school experience and they say, let, let me get in there and let me get it done. So my own son, when the pandemic started, he, we enrolled him in, in that program and he augmented his education. He was getting at Tunick High School and he graduated a year and a half early. It offers that opportunity as well. He could not have done that without it. And uh, so he went to college a year early and, and was able to progress in the way that he wanted in a personalized fashion. SOEP is a course access program, preventing student migration to differing educational coastlines where more online options exist. Courses benefit students and schools. The future and the horizon that we're on is, it's amazing. And what our students are, are, will have available to them in the future, I think is just fantastic. And you know, it really does prepare them for their life and their college or university experience in their education and also their careers. So very exciting stuff. Well, it sounds like the sky's the limit when it comes to the future of SOEP here in Utah.